In this clinical picture, we describe the case of a 45 years old woman presenting to our emergency department with a recent history of diploma and vertigo. She was a non-smoker, she was taking no medication, and had a previous history of a bicuspid aortic valve. At admission, clinical examination was normal, except the fact that she had ataxia in her arms. ECG was in sinus rhythm, CRP was midly increased, and leukocytes and procalcitonin were in normal range. A brain MRI shows cerebellar bilateral ischemic lesion. Both transthoracic and transesophageal echocardiography show mild aortic regurgitation and a marked thickening of the aortic leaflets. Amoxicillin and ceft reaction were initiated after blood culture connection, as well as serological testing for bacteria causing negative endocarditis. All microbiological results came back negative and antibiotics were, st were stopped. Essays for antiphospholipid, rheumatic factor, and nuclear antibodies were also negative, and a workup for disseminated intravascular coagulation was also negative. A CT scan was performed to investigate for possible peripheral emboli and show a left inferior mass with mediastinal and supraclavicular adenopathy. A PET CT FDG was done and showed intense metabolic fixation of all tumor targets. A lymphoadenomectomy puncture was done, and histological analysis of simple as well as immunohistological analysis were in favor of an alt gen rearrangement. A diagnosis of marrantic endocarditis was made, and crizotinib, a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, was initiated on day 19. The patient described a transitory visual disturbance 48 hours later, and brain MRI show additional ischemic lesion. Owing to the perceived risk of intracranial bleeding, anticoagulation was not initiated. Two months after chrysotinib initiation, heart valve lesion had disappeared with no perforation or deterioration of function. A PET CT FDG confirmed a complete metabolic response. At seven years of follow up, the patient is alive and well without cancer or evidence of marrantic endocarditis. This case highlights two important findings. First, that marrantic endocarditis could reveal advanced malignancy. And secondly, that the treatment of the underlying cause, in our case the malignancy, may lead to resolution of the valvular lesion.